This is DS3231 real time clock module. It can keep track of seconds, minutes, hours, days, date, months, and years. For months with fewer than 31 days, it automatically adjusts the date at the end of the month, including leap year corrections. This module is built with based of DS3231 RTC chip. It handles all timekeeping functions and communicates with the microcontroller over I2C. This module can work on either 3.3V or 5V. The battery input is 3V and a typical CR2032 3V battery can power the module and maintain the information for more than one year. As this module uses the I2C communication protocol, this is very easy to use with Arduino. In this video, I will show you how we can use this module to see the real time. And to see the real time, we will use a LCD display. To make the prototype, we will need a breadboard and some jumper wires. As we need 5V and ground for both RTC module and for LCD display, at first, we will take 5V from Arduino to positive rail of the breadboard. And then we will take the ground from the Arduino to the ground rail of the breadboard. Now we will hook up the RTC module with Arduino. We can place the RTC module on breadboard like this. After that, RTC ground will be connected with ground rail of the breadboard. Then the VCC of the RTC module will be connected with 5V positive rail of the breadboard. RTC module data pin will be connected with Arduino analog pin A4. And RTC module clock pin will be connected with Arduino analog pin A5. Hooking up RTC module with Arduino has been completed. Now we'll go to LCD monitor. Ground pin of LCD monitor will be connected with ground rail of the breadboard. And the VCC of the LCD will be connected with 5V from breadboard. Data pin of LCD will connect with Arduino data pin. And clock pin of LCD will be connected with Arduino clock pin. The hardware connection is done. Now we have to program the Arduino. To program the Arduino, we'll need a software which is called Arduino IDE. To download Arduino IDE, we can go to the official website of Arduino which is www.arduino.cc. From the software section, we can download Arduino IDE according to our operating system. After download and installing Arduino IDE, we will open and write our code here. I will provide the code in the description. You can download from the link. The most important thing is you have to include two libraries. Without these two libraries, you cannot upload the code to your Arduino. I will also provide these two libraries in the description. At first, download these two libraries to your computer. Then follow the process. I'm showing you how to include the libraries. Click on sketch option. Then include library. Add Jeep library. Then go to the directory of that libraries you already downloaded to your computer. Select the library. Click on open and it will be included to your Arduino IDE. I have already installed this library. Just follow the same process and include the second library also. Inside the code, you will find these three lines. Set the date, time and date. After setting the current date, time and date, we will upload the code. Before uploading the code, select the board and port correctly. After done uploading successfully, here you can see the result. Now the final step. We'll go again to the code and those three lines will make comment again. After making those three lines into comment, then again we'll upload the code. 
Now even if we disconnect the Arduino power, these RTC module will keep track the current date and time exactly. This is how we can use this RTC module to see the real time. Thanks for watching this video.